Hey everybody, welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. So now we're going back to the ruins. This is attempt number two to kill the boss. Uh, his name is the Apprentice Necromancer. Uh, there's a flagellant trinket up for grabs, which, you know, I hope we get. But main thing is we just need to not run into that collector, and I hope we'll be fine. These guys all have level two gear, and uh, most of their abilities they're going to be using are upgraded as well. Uh, we're taking out Revere the End with Damage Stone and Heavy Boots, Lachlan with the Survival Guide and the Dismas Head. We've got uh, Drakenbury with the Poison Herbs and Bleed Amulet. And lastly, we've got Grey with the Junior's Head and the Book of Relaxation to kind of counter some of that stress. Um, I am a bit concerned here with the extra stress and him having already 67. So, um, yeah, I'm concerned about it. But maybe we'll camp sooner rather than later. We'll see how it goes. Uh, in terms of rations, we've got uh, tons of food. I'm taking way too much food, but I just don't want to run into any uh, weird scenarios. Decent amount of torches, three keys, three shovels. You can see the rest. Let's rock and roll. Mastery over life and death was chief among my early pursuits. I began in humility, but my ambition was limitless. Who could have divined the prophetic import of something as unremarkable as a twitch in the leg of a dead rat? It's almost like we've heard this before. <laughs> uh, today's log comes from Arcane Pariah, who writes for our Hellion Mavis. We got a newcomer today, and I swear she was staring at me, licking her lips. Chill ran up my spine. Weirdest thing? She reminds me of those mosquitoes from a few weeks ago. Very weird. A devil walks these halls. Only the okay. Or the desperate go in search of him. This is so close. I feel like I should investigate this, but watch me run into just a crazy mob or something. Uh, he's going to be down here in this section. Let's see what we can do. Excellent. Fa fantastic step. start. Seems to be the case. Nab some heirlooms here. And we'll take a peek inside this room. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Nice. Let's go. I'm going to beeline. We'll see what happens with scouting. Uh, we might take a, a little look into this corner. If we get those scouting procs. Okay, hello. We got the surprise off. It's only three. It's only three. This should be, um, you know, fine. Got 10. You know what? Let's just go. Let's blight him. That takes him down to 5. And we could finish here. Kind of overkill. She could probably hit. But he's, uh, he's got some dodge. Let's just go for it. Alright. So dead. Which is good. Let's uh, throw a stun on this guy. Torch up a little bit. We'll probably go for a stun in the front as well. Oh, I felt that. I felt that to my core. Should be able to heal him up. Ouch. It's a bad roll on the speeds. It's a bad roll on the speeds. Continually See you later. Onslaught. Destroy them all. Nice big heal there, Gray. God, the Junior's head's so good. It's so nice. Got block one. Do we take the risk? I'm just looking at our speeds here. I feel like Drakenberry probably, likely will go first. I'm just going to kind of de-stress a little bit here. To try and manage that. Oh, we actually went first here. Must have had a really high roll. As nice. The fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Now, one thing I'm curious about, if you guys can help me. Um, most of the time when we pick up a kill, we get that three stress relieved on some of these guys. Um, he did not get that. And sometimes it happens where we don't. I find it's mainly like the last kill of the battle. So I don't know. We're going to ignore the books. I don't know if what the system is behind the scenes that dictates that, but if any of you know, that would be helpful. Nice. Okay. 
Not a huge scout, but that's fine. Empty, just like my soul. Let's eat up here. So we still have plenty of food. Be strong. Okay, no stressors. That's nice. Let's hit Blight in the back with Edwin. Nice dodge. We just want to we want to avoid the crits, obviously. Uh, we'll try and stun out this one. Let's take the damage versus stunned. Oh, Lachlan, that hurts. God. That would have just destroyed him, too. All right. Extra protection coming in nice there. I like it. Uh, we could probably... We have a chance of just killing these guys straight up. Got one. So he would still be alive. Let's actually... Uh, we'll try and stun these guys now. Pretty good chances. He resisted. Unfortunate. Nice dodge, though. Oh, the, these misses, my god. Lachlan, we need some accuracy on him. You can feel it. Um... So he's going to die. He is not. This guy's going to attack next. Let's let him attack. Nice. I'm going to de-stress a little bit. Great is the weapon dead, that comes dead. on its own. And likely dead. Excellent. God, I love the Plague Doctors, man. It'd be nice if we could roll here. I'm going to take this just to see if we can get another heal in. Another stress heal. Nah, he's gone. All right. Not bad. Musketeer only. Repose gets an extra five accuracy. I like. I like. Oh, hello. All right. This doesn't look too bad. It'd be nice if we get another scout to see what's in this room to see if we would want to go up and around. But I also do want to keep a key for potential secret rooms. I'm going to ditch the citrine here. And hmm, I guess let's ditch anti-venom. Ah, nice. Okay, this is <laughs> this is really good. We can uh, de-stress and heal. We don't need the healing properties, but let's do this. Altar of Light. Oh, I'm wrong. Oh, it's damage. Ah, I always get these confused. So there's Altar of Light, and there's like a... It's a fountain, I think, is what we're looking for. Either way, 30 damage. No joke. Okay. You know, I was wondering... So this guy... Let's talk about this. So we have a mod called, I think it's just called Moonlit Dungeons, which adds more enemies uh, outside of Ectomorphs. It's a completely separate mod. And this is one of them. So the way that he works is basically he gets stronger every turn. He does have repose, so you kind of need to deal with that. He can't be stunned, he can't be bled, which is a problem, obviously. Um, and he's got protection. So Blight would be good on him, but I've really got to kill this Madman in the back, or stun him. Probably a stun, I think. Let's go for the stun. I don't want to take the repost hits from these guys. We'll maybe take it the attacks up here. Ouch. 
reeling. Don't like that. About to break. Did move him back though. He counts as ironwork, not unholy. Uh, he's got a decent amount of protection. We could mark him to reduce protection. But I feel like our guys are strong enough where we might be able to just kill him. I'm going to put damage in. That's fine. So here you go. See? Every time he attacks, he gets that plus 10% damage. Nice kill, Lachlan. There you go. Execute. Oh, wow. Two crits. Two crits. Two crits. Noxious Blast, even though we're going to have to tank this hit. Yikes. Green what is with the crits? Vision. Wow. And approaches. Let's just heal up here. Seven to fourteen. Confidence nice. Surges okay. As the enemy crumbles. I'm going to go for a stun. See if we can't get an extra round of healing in here. There is a tactic where it, where if you delay too much, then uh, they can call for reinforcements. So it's always something to be watching for. Just hit some corpses to pass turns. do it. I do have the bandages. I think we'll take them as well. There we go. Is broken. Maintain the offense. I'm happy about the extra food. I have the two Loudenum for potential um, ectomorphs. I guess we'll use In this. Radiance, may we find victory. Okay. I am going to head to the boss. We'll, uh... We'll end up camping... If I camp here... I think that's probably ideal. You could argue one, two, three, four battles, but I doubt we're going to have battles in every room, but you don't know what's in the hallways. Um... Or should I camp now? Maybe I should camp now. I just don't want to run out of the buffs before the, the boss. So let's say one, maybe there's hallway, but I think, I think the next room, I think the next room. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. Still have plenty of food. Ooh, okay. You don't see this very often. Now that is interesting. That is an interesting party. Let's go, um... Plague on the back. Oh, he dodged. Okay. Let's just do damage in. These guys are gonna do stress if we don't kill. Nice, Lachlan. Nice, Revere. I can feel it. You know, I don't know what it is. I don't know if you guys feel the same way when you play these games, but you're like, you think dodge and then dodge happens. You feel like you controlled it. Obviously, you didn't. Uh, but sometimes you just get the feeling before the attack flies. You're like, I know what's happening. We got to get rid of these. I don't have a um, corpse clearing ability, do I? We do have a pull on him which would clear corpses, but it's not equipped, so. Hmm. Let's take this guy first. And if we kill him, I wouldn't mind getting a heal in to be fair. What's his speed? Five? Edwin probably goes before that, but then these guys might come back. 
I'd say worth with the crit. These guys are one hit. Uh, maybe we go Zealous. Get rid of the corpse as well. Cleansed from our lands. There it is, Noxious Blast. He's dead. Press this advantage. Well played, Let team. Well played. Ooh. The Paracausalist only. But a victory nonetheless. Extra virtue chance. Stress healing received. Plus 15 stress and minus 15% max HP. I wonder why this would be... Why would I want to use this on him? Like, you're trying to get that Virtue Chance, sure. Um, I'm not sure what the strategy would be there. If I'm being totally honest. Ink-stained illustration. The journal is an illustration of a religious figure walking to the right side of the page. To his left, another figure, tall with pointed features, watches him from the shadows. The figure's holding two daggers. Cool. Uh, what am I going to replace, though? Well, we said we were going to camp here. Um, did get the scouting proc. There's one. So even if we have one in here, even if we have one there too, one, two, three, we'd have to have four fights between there for it not to be good. Um, I think I can do it this way. Huddled together, furtive and vulnerable, rats in a maze. All right. So we have the nighttime. Oh no, you're telling me. Wait, didn't we unlock this? I thought we unlocked that ability. I wonder if, like, the way the save worked, because I did it right at the end. Oh, I'm, like, 90% confident that we unlocked this. Or maybe that was on, uh, you know what? I don't think we looked to unlock this. This was on, this was on our previous attempt, wasn't it? With a different uh, crusader, maybe? I'll have to check after this mission. Okay, so we might have a nighttime ambush, which is not great. Uh, this is really good, though. Minus stress on everybody. We definitely would like to take this accuracy buff. And the crit. The scouting would be okay. Oh, here. Nighttime ambush. Okay, excellent. Let's do that. And then we've got self, remove disease, disease resist. Let's do it this way. All right. So all things considered, his stress is okay right now. Now we did leave. We did lose his uh, big damage buff that he got from that thing that we found. Man. Pretty good haul so far. Let's not screw this up. We get the trap disarm. Look at that stress. Real nice. Locked cabinet. I guess. Yeah, we have. Still save one key in case we find a secret room somewhere. I'm going to get rid of the Loudenum. Probably regret that immediately, but... Never know. The Iron Maiden. This is... Yeah, the herbs. A handsome reward. Lead skill chance. Your task well performed. Okay, I'm going to swap the food. For the bleed stone. We don't have any empty slots, so... Keep rolling. Okay, team. So we're high accuracy, high crit, less stress everywhere. Let's go. Ooh. Okay, Bone Spectre. Another one from the uh, Moonlit Dungeons. 
just gonna go straight damage. I'm pretty sure she does stress. I could be wrong. I'm gonna blight these guys. These the other two can deal with the front line. Eradicated. Eight to seventeen. We rolled real low there. Edwin, taking some heat here. Uh, we'll go for stuns. Excellent. We still need to put... Next round, we can put the extra Blight on, and they should both die, in theory. The and the crit on the one that matters. that. It's amazing. I mean, I could get rid of these, but we're killing them with another way anyway. Let's go here, because we actually need a small heal. We need to finish this fight quickly, so I think that's signaling that we might get uh, reinforcements if we don't wrap it up, which we are about to. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Okay. Man, what a haul we have here. Um, I don't remember what this one is behind us. Let's do this, I think. Slightly ajar. Oh, no. Oh, no. Anatophobia. Plus 20 stress if we're below 50% HP. Well, okay, just just don't die. How hard is that? All right, we found another battle, so we will have enough for these to last. Let's disarm the trap here with Lachlan. Uh, how many curios do we have? We might... Depending on how that boss fight goes, we might still go up here and grab some of these. So I kind of want to keep things like holy waters. Uh, shovels, I don't see anything else. Maybe we can ditch those. Okay. One more little mini fight here. Hopefully it's mini. Then it's business time. The light. The ah, freaking Ectomorphs too. Okay. Well. <laughs> they can all, they all, it's all bad. It's, they can all do bad stuff, you know? I'm going to put this on the front. They can all do stress, so... I'm, I'm, you know, if he wants to just do attacks, that's good. Doing a buff here. This guy's likely going to cause problems for us. I don't know if I want to use a turn to mark here. Oh, God! Lachlan! That's sick. There's that. We already see that buff coming into play. Uh, so he's going to die out. Let's hit the others. No corpse. He dies to the dot. Zealous could kill his back one. It's not going to. Two to two chance to hit. This is better. Now that's interesting. We don't have any de-stealthing. We do have AoE though. So it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Oh, I should have hit this. What was I doing? It's okay. 
Oh, uh, the dodge. It's great. Not much I can do there. That sucks. Oh, it doesn't suck. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> That's insane. What a weird run. Okay, let's not get too excited. Things are going well. Let's, let's keep cool. Swap this stack for now. Ink stained illustration four of six. This journal is an illustration of a religious figure showing a woman with a long neck, various pages with indecipherable runes. The woman is looking at the pages in confusion. Okay. Let's uh, get back to default here. We're going in here like best case scenario, really. We can, I guess, improve uh, resistances here if we want. Probably fine. If things go well, there's a couple of other curios out there, so we might want to save the holy water. Uh, let's torch up. The way is lit. Let's take the, the fight. Is clear. We All right, big boy. The 105 it. damage. So Double blight's good, bleed's fierce. good. Terrible. I'll take a five blight. Materium. All day. Stun chances, uh, pretty low for us. It's decent damage. I think the way he works is when he attacks, he brings in these guys. We kind of got to either decide, do we want to clear them out or do we want to kill him, uh, kill his new guys? I, uh, in this scenario, we don't really need the, uh, the protection reduction, but this is really good. The extra damage. So I'm, I am going to mark him here. Four to eight. It's close. I can do a zealous accusation to hit both here, though. Very cool. Six feet under. Ouch. You know what? Could be worse. Significantly. Let's keep stacking this blight. But ten now. Big damage. Oh! That's so sick. It's 10. Uh, I'm going to keep putting damage in here. We'll do a zealous attack on the front. Fifteen. So he's dead next round. He's dead next round. We just need to survive. Which shouldn't be a problem here. Oh, nice. We'll take that little stress heal. Basically, I'm just hunting for a crit here. With no Guys, sinew to we crushed that run. Will these walking bones finally oh, fail? this is really unique. Plus two speed in Sunward Isles only. The itinerant cook. Common cannot be marked. Okay. That could actually, that's kind of interesting because I think the way that that class works is you're just kind of sitting there the whole time, quote unquote, cooking. I think. Uh, I want to keep all of these things. I'm going to get rid of the onyx. And this is like, this is just buffs. So I don't see why I would turn that down. Um, what could I ditch, though? It's good for our musketeer. This one's rare. We can sell it. Man, I don't know. I don't know what I would get rid of here. I guess, we're, since we're going to be visiting all of these areas um, that we've already been through, I guess, torches... So I want to keep these in case we run into good curios. I am gonna I am gonna venture back through here. 
We'll have to watch for things that spawn, but... I'm really happy we took him down. I'm not surprised we took him down, but that was just a really good run. As a whole. I hope I don't ruin it here. We've ate more food. I'm going to at least get us up to here. We're going to go north and around and see how we feel. These little two, three hits of stress are fine. We have enough for one more food check. And basically one segment of this got us all the way through back to where we started. Wealth I should have um probably snuffed to the brave and the foolhardy alike. I'm just gonna leave that. We have a little bit more stress healing here. Look at that. He came in with like 60 some stress. So far he's leaving with the least. All right. We didn't get a scouting chance. I don't think we're going to take another battle. Um, it's just too much chance of us getting stressed out. We don't have to pay to recover any of these guys. We de-stressed him. I'm super happy with it. Let's, um, let's head back. We didn't make a lot of money from uh, the treasure. We have a decent amount here. We've got the flagellant collar. Got a ton of heirlooms, though. Real nice. And, of course, we killed the boss. These guys are all at level 2. I'm actually happy she didn't hit level 3 yet. Night Owl. Flawed release. Eh, it's just the crit. We don't really rely on crits for the Plague Doctor very much. Hard Noggin's cool. Okay. Okay. Of fresh Stress reduction the activities song. in town are slightly less effective. A sanguine well, memory to me. That's good. The town is a buzz. So this is because of the Crimson Court. Crumbling stone entry to a forgotten labyrinthian garden has been uncovered. The discoverer sadly has perished from innumerable insect stings. Concern rises. Uh, we recovered 50 stress with Harmony. And then we got level 2 on a bunch of these guys. Gray is still level 2, which is nice. Let me clear these guys out here. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. We have three new classes in here. Um, the Occultist, I love. I, I'm a huge fan, actually, of the Occultist. Um, so we're going to take him. He's a big healer. He can do some backline damage. It's pretty nice. To fight uh, we're going to take a Wraith. These guys can put out some it. pretty heavy damage. And uh, they have some cool mark synergy. The other thing I like about this class is they have tons of control. These three skills here all do stuns. For, uh, to either the back line, the front line, or both in the middle, which is pretty cool. Uh, we'll go through this in detail. And then we have the Seraph class. Uh, also, I think, pretty good for a frontliner. Um, similar to the uh, Leper, I would say. Would be, like, the closest way to compare them. But we'll go through that in detail as well. I don't think I'm going to take l another Lamia right now. The reason being is soon we're going to be getting into upgraded recruits. And because we have the anti-grind uh, stagecoach mod, we should have a higher chance of getting more experienced recruits all the time. And the nice thing about that is when they come in at, you know, level one to start out with, uh, they'll already have all of their skills unlocked, all of their gear. If we have duplicates in here, those are the ones we'll replace them with and we'll keep their names. But um, yeah, let's take a look at how close we are to this. So we need to get to Weaponsmithing level 2. And Armorsmithing level 2. And Instructor Mastery level 2. So we're getting... We're close. We're close. I'm going to go ahead and unlock the uh, Weaponsmithing. Fan the flames. Mold the metal. We are raising an army. We need, uh, we need some portraits for the other one. But I'm pretty happy with that. 
Bank wise, we need 50 portraits as well. It's not a huge gold income that we need. Torchlight being more beneficial with 6 million shields. I think this is quite good, actually. You get some food for free and you get extra healing when you're eating. So instead of healing for two, basically you're going to heal for three. Um, I think the way that that stuff works is if you normally heal on a flat thing of two, for example, if you were to buff either the skill or in this case the food by even 1%, it automatically rounds up to the next thing. So anyways, let's go get some names for these guys. Super stoked to have an occultist in here and uh, I'll introduce you in one second. Okay, so first up is our occultist, Razkan Kal. And his backstory is this. The blighted wastes in the lands to the east had wrought horrid creatures of all types. Beauty is a word carried no meaning for those inhabiting these destitute badlands. Razkan is a man who witnessed the horror this world had to offer, his family and clan being consumed by unimaginable horrors that swept across the lands. To fight such malignant darkness, one must master its disgusting nature. Plunging himself into dank ruins and long-forgotten corners of the lands, Razkan collects dark relics to increase his knowledge and hold over the powers from beyond the cosmos. He shall fight this cancer infecting the earth or lose his mind and body trying. Happy to have you. Very happy to have an occultist. Uh, he's coming in with two quirks. So right now he's got uh, Lurker, extra damage to Torch is low, and he's obsessed with killing, which could cause some stuff that we don't want. Uh, I like this class. They're pretty flexible. The main thing is they're a pretty solid healer, anywhere from 0 to 13. Um, you can flunk out on these sometimes. You can even crit for 0, cause some funny stuff. But generally, on average, you're going to heal somewhere in the middle of that, um, which is good. That's pretty solid. The downside is he's a 60% chance to inflict bleed, but usually not a problem. Uh, he's got Sacrificial Stab as a melee attack, does extra damage versus Eldritch, has a pretty good crit modifier. He's got Abyssal Artillery, which does damage to Eldritch in the back, uh, boosted damage to Eldritch and hits both of them in the back, I should say. Uh, Weakening Curse is pretty nice. It does its damage reduction, but then it removes damage protection from the target. Uh, vulnerability heck, Hex marks a target, does a small amount of damage, and reduces their dodge. Got uh, Hands from the Abyss if you're fi fighting him in the front line. And I have seen the Occultist be useful in the front line. Um, it can be done, and it can be pretty powerful. But uh, you can hit them at half damage with a big crit modifier for stunning, and you increase the torch. And then Demon's Pull, which is nice. You clear all the corpses, and uh, you can pull people out of position from the back line. So if we're going to use him, we'll likely put him in the back. He's got Nighttime Ambush unlocked, which is good. And we'll uh, probably unlock some of these other skills when we decide to use him. Uh, Fane is up next. So Fane's backstory as a wraith is this. Hell. Is it a place? Is it a punishment? The uninitiated don't know, but I do. Hell is the place we uncovered beneath the mansion. Hell is what we have brought to this, our world. I served as a laborer for the family, happily counting my coins and not thinking through the consequences of what we were doing. Every day we shoveled dirt, chipped away with our picks at stone, and unknowingly inched ever closer to unearthing madness upon the land. I, Fane, bear the burden of my sins and placing greed above wisdom. I helped to open Pandora's box, and I will now help to close it. It's all I can do. Very fitting. Very cool. Uh, so he's coming with Ghost Slayer, extra damage versus Ectomorphs, Slow Draw, and Tone Def. Which is not amazing. Um, okay, so his first attack. These guys are similar to the Bounty Hunter, I would say. Uh, if you had to make like a vanilla comparison. So they have good mark synergy, extra damage versus bleeding, which is cool. Extra damage if the target is below 66% uh, HP, which is pretty solid. And then just a pretty nice crit modifier. He's already got five. This adds, makes it up to 11, so pretty cool. He's got a mark here, so you can mark the target and you increase the amount of crits that they receive. Now, this is where he gets pretty cool, in my opinion. If you don't need to have Mark unlocked, or if you don't need um, bleed skills, you could unlock a bunch of his stuns and make him be able to target literally any group. Uh, so this first one could target this back positions, and uh, it's a base chance of 100%. You also get a pull out of that. 
The sap hits the front two targets, or one of the front two targets. Reduce damage, obviously. Stun and debuff their speed. Nice thing about having a uh, speed debuff on a stun is that when they take their first turn, they can't act because they're stunned. And then that second round, in theory, you should be able to go ahead of them because they're taking that speed hit. Um, so you should be able to get maybe two attacks in before they get to act. Chain Gang, you hit the middle two for 100% chance of uh, stun. We've got Guillotine, which is pretty solid bleed. Three points around for three rounds. Now, if the target is below 25% HP, it's a guaranteed crit. So you can use that to uh, do some stress reduction. Did I say guaranteed hit? I meant guaranteed crit, if I misspoke there. Um, so that's pretty cool. Also, extra bleed skill amount versus stunned or marked. Pretty solid, I would say. And then last, he's got hook and slice. So he can hit anybody. And uh, it's a bleed. Three points around for three rounds. And you can shuffle uh, whoever you hit. So a lot of options. A lot of good flexibility here. Obviously, you want to put him in the second or third position. That's where you can use almost all of his skills. But because Reap is like his bread and butter, second position is where he uh, shines, I think. Next up, we have... A S I hope I say this correctly. Asisina? Asisina Pharos. This is our Seraph class. And the backstory is this. A woman of faith and mysterious past, she was found by a group of nuns seeking wisdom and knowledge through faith in her youth. Always on the edge of society, she wandered through the quiet halls, learning the arts of healing and scriptures alongside the metaphysical truths of nature. A peculiar girl, it was... It always was whispered that a dark personality hid inside her, one of fury and intent, while her outside self was quiet and reserved. She now arrives upon these tainted grounds, a purpose yet to be determined, but a fury within her driving her forward. Very cool. So she's coming in with Last Gasp, so um, plus one speed if her HP is below 50. Extra stress in the Sunward Isles, and she's obsessed with material things, so we'll probably want to get rid of that at some point. Uh... Let's go through her skills. So, like I said, she's similar to the Leper in terms of her positioning and where she can hit. But, um, anyways, this is really solid. So, it's a low accuracy chance to hit, but if they're marked, it's 150% damage. Now, right now, she doesn't have any upgraded weapons. She's dealing 4 to 8. Still pretty cool. But, the trade-off is, you're consuming the mark. So, you're gonna hit for damage... If you are relying on other people to hit that mark target, it's not going to happen anymore because that mark is going to be gone. Uh, Wrath, she can target anybody at reduced damage. It has armor piercing, though. It increases your torch. It's 200% damage versus marked. And uh, you consume the mark as well. So you can kind of see a theme here. This is a uh, repost, valid when you're low health. It's extra damage, extra crit, extra torch, Extra damage versus marked, get rid of the mark, and you activate repost. You can't be guarded, and you break guard. Pretty solid, I would say, but situational. So it's tough to say whether you want to go into a battle with this unlocked. You can change in the dungeon, I guess, if you just feel like, okay, this is my last chance. I don't have any healing. Uh, we still have to take a fight. I'm going to unlock vengeance so we can use this while we're low. Uh, Visage is cool. You can target the front two, and it's a stun. Problem is, is that you get uh, one point of stress per round for six rounds. So six stress, essentially. Unless people have uh, stress uh, modifiers, which could boost that, which would suck. But being able to stun out two heroes at a time is really good. Intervention, you can guard an ally, clear the horror, which you probably caused from Visage. And uh, you've got extra protection, minus 10% stress when guarding. You clear horror on yourself. And you mark uh, the target. Cauterize. You can cure bleed. Always good. Uh, buff your torch a little bit. You buff the target for bleed resist. And then you debuff that target that you helped uh, at a reduction of speed. And they take a little bit of extra stress. Lastly, we have brand. This is... Um, you can hit the front three. Reduce damage. Reduce crit. But you bypass stealth. You de-stealth and mark the target. You get rid of one of their speed, and you torch up for three. So, I like this class. This is pretty cool. They can hit pretty hard. They're pretty tanky. Um, both of these guys have pretty decent stats, I would say. 
In terms of resistances, they're similar. Um, high bleed resist on the Seraph. It's pretty nice. I would, I would, I'm happy. I think it's good. What I really want is an Antiquarian. That, that would just, that would be phenomenal. That would be really cool. I'm going to have to spend a little bit here on Helkin. So let's go in here. I'm going to take a look at what we have available for our next missions. So obviously we have veteran runs coming up, but we're not going to do those until we're at least level three. Um, preferably higher. But I actually, to get people, we have to do them when we're level three. We can't get to level four without doing them. What do we have going on here? Oh, this is quite good, actually. Minus 25% skill chance sucks. But having that extra speed on your healer is really nice. It's really good. Slayer, we don't have. Agility seal for the wraith. Mm, it's okay. Uh, I feel like we should probably go to one of these other places and clear a path to the boss, right? Arbalist, Book of Intuition. Move Amulet. Falconer gets Dodge and Death Blow. I don't mind that, actually. A lot of Falconer stuff here. Minus 10 accuracy on the range skills for some dodge. Eh, maybe. Slayer, Lamia, extra stress healing done. But she takes 5% extra. Bloodied fetish for some resistances. Lowers your disease resist, though. Oh, look at this. Repost of 15%. And you get extra protection when attacked by Yokai. Now that's cool, but the repost damage being buffed is really solid for anybody like our highwaymen, uh, our man at arms, anybody with repost. That's all of a sudden looking pretty good. We could probably handle a trip in here. It's a medium run. Okay, so we're going into Sunward Isles, and this is the party that I'm going to roll with. Um, we're going to take out Mika the Jester, Harmony the Duchess, Fane our Wraith, and Razkan Cal over here um, for healing. Now, we're going to start off the fights probably using Finale, like I've talked about. It's a little controversial. Some people think it's not the best tactic, but I'm just basically wanting to use stress reduction as much as I can because um, I'm not 100% confident in the Sunward Isles. And we'll upgrade his weapons as well. We do have Dirk Stab, which means we can uh, get out of this position if we want. We can start moving him forward. He can still do damage. Uh, if we feel like that's not necessary, then I can switch his order in the mission. And we'll just put him in the back. Uh, we do need to unlock and upgrade a couple of things for him. So let's go here. We're going to go Finale. Uh, the stress and I think that's probably okay. This makes a, a higher bleed chance on harvest. I think this is fine and we'll upgrade his weapons also. I don't want to spend too much here because we're pretty broke and then I'm also going to unlock some other stuff so he's going to be in the third or in the second position after our jester move so that's fine um, we do have a mark from Razkan if we want it I don't know if I need to have this I might be better off trying to unlock something that targets that back line and pulls um, we're going to unlock his pull as well I think Maybe I unlock this. So we do our basic attack. We've got uh, a stun on either of the front two. And then we have bleed and bleed. Hopefully that works. And then lastly, with uh, Razkan, we'll go... Hmm... I'm getting pretty tight here on cash, is my worry. 
my the concern I have is getting to that getting to the back line um, so I think the pull is nice the stun hitting that third position could be good I'm gonna unlock just the pull and hopefully that's okay so we'll do well, actually he's gonna be sitting right in the oh no actually the jester's gonna go to the back he'll be in third position so sacrificial stab can still work for us we have our let's see our pull we'll put in two we'll put our heel here and then we'll do the mark last okay in terms of stress we put helkin in already and i think for quirk removal I would like to get rid of this on Kaz, Restless Conscience. Twelve hundred. I'm actually gonna put some of this in here. The front line of this war is not in the dungeon, but rather inside the mind. I do want to eventually max this out because quirk treatment, in my opinion, is gonna be very important. Just oh, and this is Oh, good. No, sorry. I, I misread this. I thought this was like one of the stronger ones. Um, because we're not dismissing, unless we get to replace them with like an experienced recruit, then um, it, this is really important, in my opinion, to get rid of key ones. So, okay, guys, I think we are all set in town. I can't really afford to do much else. I'm going to have to sell something. Uh... This is going to be pretty good, I think. I'm going to sell this. It's $22.50. I'm not seeing the full value there. Uh, the stress healing received, I guess, is good, but, you know, I'm going to ditch it. That should be enough to get our, uh, our provisions for the Sunward Isles. It's a medium run. I think this is a pretty good trinket. Just extra repose damage, the way I look at it, and then extra protection when attacked by Yokai. But uh, yeah, wish me luck. This will be interesting. If you haven't seen Sunward Isles, buckle up. Here it comes. See you soon, guys. Bye for now.